So let's do a test. So let's put the new filters in place of the old filters while we're taking the pressure drop across the filter. So I'm measuring after the filter and I'm taking my measurement in front of the filter to see our drop there. Now we know we're restrictive and according to this, we're only doing 328 CFM per ton which were way on the low side, but we are in a room that's high humidity, like 80% humidity. So we do need that low run for dehumidification, but not that low. So let's, because we know it's bad because we only have 118 up there. Oh shoot, all blurry. Come on, focus. Man, the iPhone 13 sucks. Um, 118, I'm probably gonna add a 12 inch off there and go over. So let's do this right now check it out so we're basically right at 288 288 and 290 with the dirty filters in there and this is not even taped off yet I'm still leaking in air around here so let's take that out let's take that out so 288 290 is our number we're looking for an improvement these are just your standard cheap filters that are sold at your um, supply house now this is 32 inches. Basically you got 50, what do you got? You got a 32, you got a lot of square inches here and it's two inch pleated and we're still this restrictive. So this shows you how restrictive just filters are. Now we'll put the clean filters in and we were at 288 to 290. That was our steady rate. Okay. And now we're at a steady, just about a 270 right there just by changing the filters. Is that enough to bring this measurement up from 328 to 350? Let me retest and find out if that little bit makes that much difference.